My name is John Livingston. I come from Vancouver Island, Victoria, in Canada, in British Columbia. I'm a trained Northwest Coast carver. There's so many instruments that are they're musical things that are unique to Northwest Coast culture that are such a natural fit for a museum that specializes in music. The key to being a good Northwest Coast carver is you got to be able to do a smaller mask or you got to be able to walk up to a 40, 50 foot log, five feet in diameter and just dive into it and not be intimidated by the scale of it. You've got the bird figure being symmetrical, the bear figure symmetrical, the whale asymmetrical, and then we go back to the, the human figure, chief figure on the bottom, the bear standing on his shoulders, and the human figures holding a, like a supernatural frog. We went from a really traditional front of the pole to do something very contemporary. The salmons are trapped in the weir is they know their river, they know their tides. The tides are controlled by the moon. We put the moon's arms out onto the backs of the wings. And I think it's really successful. No other culture in the world bends box drums. All of this is step by step, measure twice, cut once, all very careful stuff. But when you steam in it, when it's ready to bend, you gotta bend the thing all in five minutes. Grab one end, start to fold it over. Grab it, fold it over until you get to the fourth corner. Coolis is a form of Thunderbird, but he doesn't have a horn, which we'll see on the other side. He has feathers coming off the back of his head. His two wings, he's like a split design. And there's a chief's potlatch copper in the middle with a human face on the chest of the copper. So the copper shape itself doubles as the body of the Kulus. In mythology, the Kulus could dive down and pick a whale up out of the water. They were that big, and so what we have here is this Kulus is grabbing onto a diving whale. There's a human form on the dorsal fin is shown folded back. There's a human face at the base of the dorsal fin, and that symbolizes there's a, it makes reference to a legend of the man riding on the back of the whale, riding to the deep. This little wild woman face here, which is the blowhole of the whale, and uh, the spray is shown coming out of the, the wild woman's mouth as this dashing. And the sea monster is shown with a, quite a whale-like head, but he's huge in mythology. And this is the horn I made reference to earlier. The sea monster has horns for ears. And this is, a, he has a pectoral fin like a whale. This here on his nose piece, on his forehead, represents his blowhole. And above that is a blue corona. And that, again, represents a moon or sun figure. I bent this box a long time ago. And, and sat on it. I wanted it, I was saving it for something really special, so this is the perfect home for it, because it, it gave me the chance to go all out on it. It's been really nice to work with Mim.